With the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic, the way we provide oral health care has changed. Oral health care providers work in close contact with their patients. They use equipment that produces aerosols and are exposed to saliva, blood, and other bodily fluids. All of this puts them at risk of being infected with COVID-19 and of infecting their patients. Yet many of us will still need dental care during the pandemic. So it's important to know how the screening, reception, and triaging of patients has changed. To keep staff and patients safe, the World Health Organization recommends prioritizing urgent cases, screening patients, and implementing additional measures to protect dental personnel, administrative staff, and patients. Yes, we are open. In communities with high transmission rates, urgent or emergency oral health care are prioritized, and routine non-urgent care are carried out in line with recommendations at national, subnational, or local level. Urgent or emergency oral health care includes interventions that address acute oral or systemic infections, swelling, significant or prolonged bleeding, severe pain that can't be controlled with painkillers, interventions needed before other urgent procedures can take place, and dental trauma. Oral health care professionals may first need to provide advice to patients by phone or other remote means, or when they arrive at centers and should try to defer the need for treatment through the use of pain control and antimicrobial treatment. I'm transferring your call. This approach is called the three A's, advise, analgesics, antibiotic, and will help them assess whether a case is urgent. So you say the pain is getting worse and none of the medication is working? If a patient who has or may have had COVID-19 needs urgent or emergency oral health care, they should be referred to specialist oral health care services with the appropriate measures for protection in place. Do you have a fever? Have you been in contact with anyone who has COVID-19? Okay, we can assist you at our dental service. Can you come in at half past 10? Actually, let's make it 20 minutes to 11 as the dentist needs to disinfect the treatment room between patients. On arrival at the center, patients must wear masks and wash their hands with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand wrap. Patients and anyone accompanying them will need to provide their contact details. The dentist will see you after the gentleman who is waiting but your friend will need to wait outside as we need to limit the number of people in our treatment room. Please take a seat so long, sir. Next patient, please. Following the right steps, we can continue providing essential oral health care services during COVID-19 while keeping our staff and patients safe. <laughs>